Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Alex, and in these videos, I like to share tutorials in game audio design and implementation. In this video, I will show you how to build the logic you need for implementing weapon sounds inside Unreal Engine 5 Metasound. This video is a continuation of my previous video, which is about how I design sci-fi weapon firing sounds using Phaseplant. If you haven't seen that video, feel free to check it out here first. Otherwise, let's dive in. So when we are ready to import the sounds into the engine, there are a few steps that we need to take to make sure that we have a smooth integration. We first need to build the functionality that we need for our sounds to work properly. I sometimes have a bad habit of diving right in without having a plan in advance. So as an attempt to avoid that, I created these simple diagrams in Miro to help us understand what needs to happen. The first diagram shows the logic I want to set up and reuse for every type of weapon. The idea is to have an easy way to combine these separate layers together inside the engine. I can then access each layer individually later on to add random volume and pitch variation. So if we transfer this logic over to Unreal Engine 5, we can use Metasound patches. You can think of a Metasound patch as a way to create custom functions that allow us to build the behaviors that can be copied over into multiple instances. This means I can reuse this logic whenever I want to with different kinds of weapons in game. Once this base patch is created, I can then use this by dragging in the samples that I've exported and exposing inputs such as the pitch and the volume parameters. Once this one shot meta sound is all set up, I can then inherit this over to um, different functions for full auto and semi-auto. For both of these, I, I want to create a trigger sequence, and that just means it will play one of these at a time, instead of repeating the same instance. For the full auto sequence, I'll have a trigger repeat, and every time it repeats, I'm going to create a new pitch and volume float that will change all of these sounds in the one shot meta sound. In the semi auto sequence, I'll do the same thing, but instead of using a trigger repeat, I'm going to set up a custom input trigger that will trigger the sequence as well as these variables. Cool, so let's move these over to different meta sounds. Okay, so here's the patch for creating all of the layers. And all I'm doing here is exposing different inputs that I can use later on. And if I play this now, nothing happens because I haven't actually specified what sounds these are playing. Because I'm going to be doing that for the next meta sound. So this meta sound is for the one shot logic. And I just dragged in the samples that I exported from Reaper. And these are all of the available inputs that I showed you just before. And if I move over to this meta sound, this is the full auto patch. You can tell because of the trigger repeat right here. That's going through all of these patches that have been inherited from the previous meta sound. And all I did is just copy paste these four times. And every time the trigger repeats, I'm creating the random floats that I mentioned in the diagram. When you create the random float, you can set it as a variable and then feed it into all of these patches. This is how I make um, a different, a slightly different sound every time this is played. You can actually see this if I, when I activate on play, all of these create a random float and when I fire, that float changes to something new. Now it's subtle, it'll be way more repetitive if it's removed. Let's check this out. You 
you can see that I've created this extra input low clip trigger. This actually changes the sound of the one shot to indicate to the player that they're running low on ammo. And I initially set this up back in the one shot patch. You see this is a low clip float. And while this moves up, it's changing the pitch of the transient layers and the volume of the low tone. Let's hear this again. And I can change the onset, like how fast the attack time is right here. Or I can make it much faster. The cool thing about this is that it's easily customizable inside of the meta sound without having to change anything back in Reaper and then re exporting. You can do everything straight in the engine. Here's a similar example, but for the semi auto patch. So I don't have anything for the on play because the trigger sequence only works while on play is activated. So it created a custom input which tells the meta sound that you have fired a round. So all of these meta sounds that I showed you are for 3D audio, which means that it's directional in the game. I've also created the same meta sound, but for the stereo, which is the 2D sounds. The only difference here is that I'm just using stereo wave assets instead of mono. So let's hear the first person 2D sounds. So now that I have all the functionality set up, I can actually drag in other layers that I want for maybe different types of weapons. So let's have a listen to this one. The meta sounds are exactly the same, but when I open this up, I've just dragged in different assets inside the one shot meta sound. So if you stuck around this far, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe as that will help out a lot. Also, feel free to let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to cover in future videos.